Today in the pedal vault, the Electro Harmonics Metal Muff with Top Boost. The Metal Muff with Top Boost is a pedal by Electro Harmonics and it's built in the US. I think it's their try to do a metal distortion pedal. To be quite honest, I never tried out a Big Muff, so can't tell you how it's actually based on it or not. Sorry about that. Anyways, it comes with a 3 band EQ, treble mid bass, a distortion control, volume control and um, activatable top boost control. If you press the boost button, it will activate the top boost. So that's about it. Well, let's see it. Some volume drop. Let's compensate. Okay. Distortion increases the high frequencies means a bit more noise, kind of bummer, but okay, we leave it at zero for now. Okay, it's counterintuitive. I expected bass to be here. Bass. Centered around 120 hertz. Here it clicks in. It's quite nice. Okay, so I expect mid to be here, and I'm wrong. Mid is centered around 1.2 kilohertz, actually. Huh, the gap, however, if I cut the frequency, is around 1.4. Okay. And click. So now treble brings some high end around five kilohertz. And there's some cutting. Okay, now before we activate the top boost, let me quickly try something. Okay, a bit of a stretch, but this might do chainsaw in a way or so. We have to keep it in mind. So, top boost, what do you do? Nothing, it's okay, I have zero at the top boost and now So the top boost is centered around 4.3, 4.4, but that's actually the treble. Oh, and now the treble control is centered around 13. Wait. No, it's just another treble control. Zero this. What happens here? Stays around four and now deactivate. Goes away. Okay, do the other pots work differently? No, still around. <laughs> now zero this strange peak around 8.5 okay whatever and base what do you do okay at least base does the same 
no distortion yet adds some highs and again this strange no no it's on 11 and this one at 18 but this should basically be just noise okay many things to try out so let's start So for the live review part I chose my Black Cat Custom and I thought it would be interesting to see how well the Metal Muff takes an overdrive in front of it, so I put in Boss Super Overdrive SD1 in front of it. As for an amp I opted for the Brit 800 mod in a kind of cleanish sound together with the Jens Bogren IR and here is the basic sound. Okay, now let's activate the Metal Muff 
and I'll dial in a sound that I think it's good and then we find out how the boss colors the sound. <laughs> You know what's interesting is that I didn't like the sound at all. So either I'm not good at dialing it in right now or maybe the amp model that I chose isn't made for the metal muff. When I crank the mid it goes directly into chainsaw territory which I obviously like but it wasn't my intention to give you a chainsaw because this I'll do next week. So I'll keep tweaking a little bit more. Okay, so you really have to be careful to, uh, how to dial in uh, both the bass and the treble control because it can easily sound very cheapish and uh, empty two ish in a bad way. Um, yeah, let's activate the boss. <laughs> So the boss just subtly uh, fattens the sound, uh, I really like it. I don't like the sound at all, I think it's okay, uh, nothing more. So you really have to be careful how you dial in your amp. As for this live review, I won't tweak around with the amp. I'll leave it with this sound, you get uh, some more riffs and then comes my verdict.
you know, based on the looks of this pedal, it promises you a distortion pedal preamp solution and it kind of does, although you really have to be careful with those knobs. For example, the treble control as well as the bass and especially the top boost control. If you dial them in too much and we're speaking about one millimeter or so, easily sounds plasticky and uh, like a toy. Uh, yeah, it has this real fizzy sound that's not good. It reminds me of a Boss MT2 dialed in in a bad way. So. Just keep in mind, if you want to have this pedal or if you want to use it as a distortion pedal, you can do it, but you have to have calm fingers. In front of the distorted amp, however, the pedal is much more forgivable when you dial in a bit too much treble or bass or whatever. And um, I really like the sound. It boosts the signal quite nicely, gives you a, a kind of unique tone. And the mid control, when you crank it, it even uh, touches chainsaw territory as you could see in my ultimate comparison of the HM2 I did a couple days ago. I'll do another video with a shootout of the Metal Marv and the Boss HM2 to see how close it actually is. But for now I think it's a good pedal for the price but it's not a distortion pedal that I would use in front of my clean channel. Just saying. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the force be with you and have a nice day.